handful of early morning flights arriving and departing, but large numbers were listed as cancelled. And now to discuss more on the current aviation scenario, we are joined in the studio by our guest Subhash Goel, President of All India Tour Operators Association. Mr. Goel, a warm welcome to Business Wrap. Uh, to talk about the aviation scenario. I'd like to correct you. Yeah. I'm the ex-president and okay. I'm the chairman of the SHM Tourism Committee now. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, Mr. Goel, uh, to talk about uh, this, uh, you know, unprecedented kind of, uh, of a scenario as far as aviation is concerned, not only in India but entire Europe has been stranded. What kind of financial impact it's making on the aviation industry? Well, uh, I think uh, this impact is worse than 9-11 impact. Uh, about 2,400 million dollars as per IATA have been lost by airlines which were operating to Europe. And uh, in India, the three major carriers, Air India, Jet Airways and Kingfisher have lost around uh, 30 million, uh, uh, about, uh, 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 about 30 crores. Uh, the point is that uh, such a crisis has happened. But uh, UK and the northern European airports were closed, but the southern European airports like Madrid and also Athens and some of the airports were open. Yeah. So we do not have a crisis management group where we could have sent passengers to southern Europe and they could have gone by train. Similarly, cargo could have moved to southern European points and even points uh, near southern Europe like Istanbul and uh, Tunisia, where passengers and cargo could have gone and moved by uh, train. Now this has not happened. Secondly, what has happened is in this crisis that a lot of passengers were stranded. There were some airlines who were taking care of their passengers by providing them hotels and yeah. trying to reroute them. But there were other airlines who totally ignored the passengers and they said the circumstances are uh, beyond control and therefore uh, you know uh, they just wash their hands off okay mr goel do you think you know there have been allegations of increase in uh, in tariff for, for for european destinations and even other countries do you think you know uh, the airline industry would be taking an undue advantage of the situation now no right now no airline is taking undue advantage because to be honest right now the immediate problem in hand for the airlines okay. is to clear passengers? stranded passengers, number one. Secondly, the tickets that have already been pre-booked and committed at a particular price, they cannot charge them more. Okay. Yes, the airlines have to recover the money. After 9-11, uh, American government had given a bailout package to some of the American carriers. Now, will the European Union do this to European carriers? This we do not know. Okay. Secondly, yeah. What is going to happen, because this whole market mechanism is demand and supply. Now, if uh, passengers are cleared, now there are a lot of tourists who are supposed to go to Europe from India who have cancelled their programs and diverted to other places. Similarly, a lot of European tourists who are planning to fly by air may have decided to go by train. So, there might be a decline in air travel. So if that happens so, then the prices may not go up. Yeah. Mr. Well, yes, yeah. airlines will definitely, like a fuel surcharge, maybe have an emergency surcharge okay. because of this crisis. Mm. But there are already so many surcharges and, and the tariff uh, has come under fire for being not very transparent. And many a times the regulators and also the civil aviation minister had pointed this out to the airlines that the phase structure is just not transparent enough. You see, uh, the civil aviation minister and the government does a lip service okay. because if the civil aviation minister and the government they want, okay. they have the power to regulate the tariff. Earlier the tariff was regulated, but because of the economy, yeah. you know, free market economy, the civil aviation minister and the government cannot do anything because we are going towards the free market economy and we have to let the market forces work. So basically it comes back to demand and supply. Okay. So Fine, Mr. Goel. Thank you so much. What the government yeah. can do 
is which the civil aviation secretary has announced and dgca should implement is that the consumer should not suffer okay. there should be laws in place like there for the european union that uh, the consumer you know because there should be some sort of an insurance whereby the consumers are covered that's right lot of airlines have this insurance uh, and they cover such contingencies True. so such contingencies because of global warming are bound to happen yeah you do not know when another uh, you know uh, eruption will take place take anywhere place. so yeah. we have to be prepared for it fine mr goel let's see how the situation pans out thank you so much for joining us on business wrap thank you well time for a quick break now but uh, do stay tuned for more news and updates